Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Fish. And I'm Brandon Price. And this is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Hey everyone, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. Welcome back. Um, it's been about, oh, what, it, today's Friday. <laughs> uh, all the days have blended together. Um, Daisy had her kids on Monday night. Um, so we're going to check on them and see how they're doing. I'll show you guys what they look like when they're dry. Um, Brandon could not find them this morning. They've been hanging out in the barn this whole time. We've had all those crazy winds, and as you can see behind me, we got some snow, which is mostly gone now, thank goodness. Um, but the babies are gone. Brandon was out in the pasture, and he finally found them. But I'm going to show you how far they've gotten, uh, which is a good thing. It shows that they're really, really strong, and Daisy's being such an amazing mother. Everybody just got a little treat, um, so they're all over here fighting over everything. Um, but... Uh, so Daisy has a very nice udder for being a first timer and she had so much colostrum that even though hi Primrose Primrose is saying hi say hi <laughs> um, so even though her triplets were able to nurse for a full 24 hours we had to milk out Daisy because they all nursed on one side and so we had all this colostrum that we saved up um, for a rainy day or if anybody else needs it um, I was able to help save a baby horse or a foal, um, I think two years ago when I had a bunch of colostrum and, and the mother didn't make it. Um, so that horse made it because of our colostrum that we saved. A lot of people don't think to save colostrum, um, but on a rainy day, um, it's good to have around uh, if something bad happens or even for somebody else. So we were able to actually milk out over a quart of colostrum. That is a lot, especially since like with goat kids, you only need about two ounces um, is what the babies need. So we freeze them in ice cube trays, which I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. Um, but each ice cube is about an ounce. So you only need two ice cubes uh, to feed a baby if you ever need it. So it's really good to have on hand just in case. So if you ever have a dough that produces a ton of colostrum, it's always good to save a little bit for uh, just in case reasons. But let's go find these babies. So we got to head out of the courtyard. I have no idea where they're at. Brandon didn't tell me. He just said they were way out there. So we're going to see. Hi, Kala. Hi. What are you doing? You going to come with? Yeah? All right. Let's go find these babies. They're doing very, very well. We have picked out names. Um, so I'll tell you guys that once we find them. So let's see. I guess everybody's going to come with. <laughs> see where we can find these babies. So the only bad thing about having the girls out on this much acreage is trying to find where they hide their babies. Oh, I just spotted them. I figured they would be hiding up under a tree and I'd have to find them. But actually they're sitting out in the sunshine right up on the hill. Hey kids! Sleepy heads. Hi guys, how we doing? Look at you. Hello. Alright, so our theme this year has been plants. Any kind of tree, flower, shrub, grass, it doesn't matter. Um, so we had some help picking these ones out. Uh, get my camera to focus here. Apparently everybody is coming <laughs> over to say hi to these babies. Uh, now they've woke them all up and there they go. Um, so the little boy, which is the black and tan one here, his name is Ember. And then we have Fox Glove, which is, uh, it kind of fits her because we were just going to call her Fox. And she's that orange color and cream. Hi, Evie. So she kind of reminds me of a little bit of a fox. And then this little spotted one. Look at all those spots now that she's dry. Um, her name is Orchid. And Brandon named her. What do you think, cutie? Huh? So we're going to be keeping Orchid and Fox. That way we can use them in our breed up program. Kala, are you bothering her? She's trying to go potty. <laughs> 
but she's so cute. Oh, Daisy's calling her babies. You gonna go get your mom? Go we'll get your mom. Look at him go. Fox. There's little Fox. <laughs> she's playing. They're so cute. She's doing such a good job. If you guys remember in the last video, she was a little nervous at first. She was actually a little bit scared of the babies because she wasn't sure about them. Um, she is over four years old, and these are her first kids. She was a horse companion before with her and her brother, and uh, so we weren't sure how she would do, but she's doing great. Oh, here's Kale. Kale wants to say hi. Hi, Kale. Hi, bud. <laughs> you silly. All the kids are doing really good. Um, they're all growing like weeds. We're actually starting to get 60-day uh, weights. And, yeah, they're all growing pretty nice. There's Buckeye. He's a big boy. There's Fern. She's probably our best growing kid so far this year. Uh, she was our little runt at just four pounds. And she's actually growing the best out of all the kids so far. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, babe. She's going to be staying here. I think we're keeping almost all the girls because um, we're still trying to grow the herd quite a bit. But, oh, good job, Daisy. You're such a good mama. Yeah, you're a good mama. We're finally getting the kids to nurse on the other side. I'll show you guys. They got her a little bit lopsided because they were all nursing on one side. Um, so we milked her out. Um, and now they're starting to nurse on both sides. But we got two on one side and one on the other. So she's going to be a little bit lopsided until the kids grow and start nursing a bit more. But they're doing good, nice and healthy. <laughs> she's very protective of them, which we like to see, especially since we've actually had a bunch of coyotes lately. Um, it is breeding season for the coyotes. We had a pack of five come in the other day. Um, we did not get any. Uh, we did go hunting for them, but they just wouldn't come in close enough. But we've been seeing their tracks. They're walking our fence lines, trying to see maybe a way in, but looks like our dogs are doing a good job so far. Oh, Rosemary's not going to hurt them. So, anyway, all the goats are doing well. Uh, we've got some of our goats are leaving uh, later this week. Uh, midnight here. I know we haven't had her very long. But she is leaving. This one here and her daughter, which is right behind her. They're leaving. They're going to northern Idaho on Thursday. And Wrecker, we have decided to sell him. Um, so he'll be leaving with them. Um, so it'll be a nice little starter herd. Well, not really a starter herd. They already have some Kikos, but and good additions to their herd. Um, so yeah, they'll be leaving on Thursday. So we do have about a six week break and then we're going to start having does giving birth again. Um, we've got nine that are still pregnant. Bijou's one of them. We've got Dark Caper here. Um, Evie. As you can see, she's pregnant for sure. Uh, that's just some of them. But yeah, we do have nine that are still pregnant. Uh, we'll be having a lot more kidding videos in April. Um, so we definitely look forward to those. So this is how much claustrum we got. Um, it's a gallon size Ziploc. These are all the ice cubes. I still have to empty one out of there. And this one is still full of colostrum. So we got a ton of colostrum out of Daisy. Um, she's really done well for us there. Uh, like I said, we have so many things that we can use this stuff for and different animals we can save from using it. So we always like to keep some on hand for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the kids. Now that they're all dry, they're doing great. Uh, lots of colostrum, so... Uh, we've got lots going on hopefully in the next few videos, so keep watching. We'll see you guys next time.